Although the initial brawl was broken up by police, the fights continued to escalate. Sorry, do I know you? It's me, Sam. Sam? Sam? <laughs> Sam Young? Yes. <laughs> I don't believe it. But look at you. What's, what's it been? 20 years? I suppose. Look at you. Oh. What's going on here? Oh, you know me, I'm... <laughs> Always trying to keep up with the current fashions. Oh, I regular trendsetter from the 70s. <laughs> Actually, can you help me? I've got an interview. I'm teaching now, and I need to find the town office. Oh, Samantha Young, the teacher, would you credit it? <laughs> I will. I've been teaching through in Edinburgh for a few years now, and fancy moving back through when I saw the job. Sorry, Pete, do you know where the office is? It's just I'm running a bit late. Moving back here? Why would you want to...? <clears throat> oh, oh, sorry, of course. Uh, if you just go outside around the other side of the building and it's at the last door. Perfect. Listen, I don't need to be back through until Thursday if you want to catch up properly. Tonight, the Kings. Oh, really? That would... that would be... Oh, I'm sorry. I... I don't go out much. I'm not much of a drinker. Well, that's okay. Where do you live in now? At home. Home... Home, as in Cameron Road? Aye. You... Still live with your parents? No, no. Uh, they passed, actually. Oh, Pete, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know. It was a long time ago now. Well, look, how about I pop round and see you tonight? I'd love to see the house again. I'm I'm quite busy. It might, might be quite... Oh, come on, you must have time for your old pal. But aye, aye, of course. Uh, maybe tomorrow would be OK. Perfect. If you give me your number, I'll give you a call to set up a time. That's great. I have to just pop through to my office, yeah. This is my number. You're going to give me yours, yeah? OK. Just put it there. I can't believe this. <laughs> I can't wait to catch up properly, OK? i got to go. Wish me luck. <laughs> Good luck. I just want it to be how it used to be. Yeah. I remember when... No. No, no, no. I... I never mentioned her. No. No. She's innocent. Please. Just leave her alone.
Hi, Sam. I'm really sorry. I'm not feeling so great. I'm going to have to cancel tonight, I'm afraid. It was lovely to see you yesterday. I hope you enjoy your visit. And maybe catch you another time. Bye, Sam. Okay, I know you said you were busy and I tried calling you but you didn't answer and I thought I'd just chance it. And I really want to see the place again. It hasn't changed a bit. Oh dear. So, I didn't really know what to do with the place. Mum always liked it like this. That's okay. Brought beer. Kitchen's still in the same place. Aye, same place. I remember it well. Funny, in it. <laughs> yeah. Think the interview went well. Yeah. Looks like I could move back on a permanent basis. Never know. Lots of beer nights. Took some photos of some of the places we used to hang out today as well. Aye. Yeah, it was nice. Memory lane. It's a bit weird, isn't it? A little bit. <laughs> It's been a while. <laughs> it's nice though. Having a beer to pals, come on. Let's make it a good one, yeah? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pete, I cannot believe it has been 20 years. Here, do you remember Mrs Thompson? <laughs> she hated us at school. Oh, I remember her well. Is she still at the school as far as I know? No. She must be near retirement. I'd hope so. Uh, she married a guy from Inverness, I think. Oh, you don't <laughs> want to marry her? I love growing up here. It's been great thinking about it all again. Here, there's something I've always wondered about. Last night we saw each other, heard some kid went missing. Do you remember that? No. Sorry, no. I think we should call it a night, eh? What? Pete, I didn't mean to upset you. 
I just need to be up early for work, that's all. Yeah, that's fine. I just, I really didn't mean to make you upset. I'm just tired, maybe. Yeah, yeah, well, okay, okay. Um, we've had too much beer. Um, uh, fancy a glass of water? Okay. Aye. Still here for a few days. If you want to meet up again, maybe we could do lunch. Pete, 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 you all right? You need to leave, Sam. Leave now and go home. What is going on with you? Why are you so frightened to have me here? It's nothing, just please leave. No, I'm not leaving you like this. You nearly collapsed, you're white as a sheet, I'm your friend. Peter, what is happening with you? You looked terrified when I arrived here tonight and then I mentioned that night, that kid, and look at you. It was me, Sam. The boy. Oh. No, you never mentioned it. I never told anyone, just mum and dad. Something found me in the woods. Do you believe in the supernatural, Sam? Demons? Witches? Oh, no, Pete, I don't, I don't, because those things don't exist. I'd have never believed it myself. But they exist, Sam. This town... It's... It's a beacon for all kinds of monstrosities. It talks to me, Sam. I think it's a demon. What are you talking about? There was... Look, I can see, I can see that you're scared. What, what you're describing? What you're describing, it sounds like, um, delusions, delusions, okay? And, uh, they don't exist. Maybe, maybe we should get you someone to talk to. You can talk to someone. Pete? 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 Pete, come on, wake up! Wake up, Pete, please, wake up! You need to leave, Sam. Please. No. I've said too much. This is not real. This is, it doesn't exist. It's not real. It's too late for me. I'll never escape. Just like my mum and dad once they knew about it. Once I told them, they were marked. It saw them too. You left. You should never have come back. I'm sorry, Sam. You should never have come back here. It sees you too.